Chief, I think that madman who shot up the lard lad knows where Homer is. Look. Look what they did to my beautiful Goomba. <laughs> Open your eyes, Marge. If Homer's mixed up in this, he's probably a crawler by now. <gasps> the killer's driving the rich Texan's car. How am I going to come up with that ransom? I can't do a GoFundMe for a kidnapping. There's too many of those already. I want my haircut to look just as square as yours, Papa. Someone call the zoo. The ape house is missing its ugliest baboons. Ah, my favorite time of day. Bravo clock. Woo! And thicker than usual. I've got a sterling reputation to uphold. You mind if I punch one of your brothers through this plate glass window? Nah, take your pick. Gentlemen, your primo crank is selling like meth on speed. Why should we share? Why don't we all relax and put down our crazy assortment of weapons? I'm talking to you, Mr. Dynamite Nunchucks. I'm a good time Charlie, but if you see fit to save my hide, I promise to become the kind of man my grandson can be proud of. Sorry, God. But, hey, you can only send me to hell once. Hmm? But Homer Simpson's gonna die unless I do the unthinkable. Steal back the money I gave to these orphans. There appears to be a trail of rose petals leading to the Master Vop. I wonder who could have left them there. Wait, you international psychos are married? That's none of your concern, you shorn sheep. Huh? Dix ans de mariage et même pas de vacances. Not one vacation! Look, the best marriage advice I ever got was, if you're thinking it, just say it. Really? You tell her, Irish guy! Ow. Go for the ice, Frenchy! Uh, guys, there's a little fire situation in the kitchen here. Have we got a bit angry? Cuddling doesn't always lead to sex. You're not just married killers, you're homicidal best friend! <gasps> what in the blue heck are you doing here? I haven't been able to get that spiffy bot of yours out of my dang diddly mind! I'll never be selfish again. <gasps> that gosh darn thief! Oh, there he is. I'm married to the most selfish man in the world. Oh, this Hesky gent is an American hero! Yay! I don't have your money. And I don't have your man. Funny how things work out. I am coming to collect when you least expect it. Expect it. You mean now? No oil changes, alignment, and brake pads, brake pads, brake pads! All at Heroic Lube and Tire! What's it like to be married to the most beloved man in Springfield? Every day's better than the last. I'll never forget seeing you choose the money instead of saving Ned. Never! You're going to be the youngest Eagle Scout in town. Well, I am half hero. Why'd you get a blank postcard from Wyoming? Hmm, that's weird. Don't shoot, you little weirdos! Daddy, it's Mr. Simpson! Hadley ho, neighborino. Marge hates me. Our marriage is deader than disco stew. We both suck. <laughs> Equally. <laughs> ah! What is it, Homer? A mistress? A secret family? You better not be a sports podcaster. This is the most selfless thing you've ever done. And you didn't even tell anyone. I'm the one he wants. Okay! Phew. Bye! Good luck! Blood it is. Ah, balance. Your grandfather was dirtier than a hobo's handkerchief. 
Why, he even killed a man in cold blood for that money. Huh? <sighs> oh! Ah! Ah! Oh! Holiday, stupid. Oh, oh. To celebrate an ancient pagan ritual, this tree was cut down and tarted up like a diamond dance floozy. Three gingerbread workmen died making that. I'm sorry, but this leg's gonna have to go. Yep, come midnight, I'll be sitting here with cold cookies, warm milk, and hot lead. Why I wanted those toys? I wanted them till I got them. But this year, I'm getting my dirt bike. Uh, what? All aboard the Polar Express. She'll fly, all right. You just got to keep her happy. Excuse me, Mr. Goblin? Elf, I'm an elf. Ah, la, la. That leads to the daycare center. You take the freight elevator. Bo, 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 bing, bang, boom. You are clearly too smart to be down here with these dingle bells. <coughs> hey, you twos can go work for the Easter Bunny. Oh, that's right. He ain't real. <laughs> Just point me to Santa. Oh, I know what you're after. The toy you never got. Security! Close the door, boy. I can't afford to heat the whole North Pole. For years, I've been giving out free toys and getting cookies in return. It's not a sustainable business model. Thanks, kid. Now you better head home. I'm sure in the 25 years of Earth time you've been gone, your parents have gotten worried. Ever want to trade for Christmas? This one's yours. One of our parents is facing the German army? Simpson, get your helmet on! I'm trying! I love meat and I always will. Mmm, <coughs> that is some sweet pig meat. Simpson, you're shipping out tonight. Right before Christmas? Hitler doesn't take a holiday. So I never want to see another Christmas tree until Mom comes back safe and sound. <laughs> No! That says she's missing in action! Oh, no! <laughs> uh -huh. Let me trim it for you. And uh, decorate it a little. Whose turn is it to cry? Yours. <laughs> Someday our mom will be back. Someday TV will be invented, and it will be free! <laughs> nine, nine! Why did I go to the nine o'clock show? <laughs> This is the last time I bring these two to bed at the same time. <gasps> I'm on my way. This stuff will just shampoo out, huh? I'm not sure I like where this is going. Well, I'm not sure anyone asked your opinion. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Now, march. And after an hour, you can relax with some hand-shaved hot cocoa. Except I would have soaked the labels off with warm water. Then I would have melted the plastic down in a double boiler and poured it into a candy mold. Don't worry, Marge. It's a good thing. There, there. Shh. Thanks for wasting my time. I'll just wave my magic wand and turn everything back the way it was. Merry Christmas, Mom! We brought you breakfast in bed. Now we just have to make it.
You said we were going someplace fun. Yeah, Mom, you promised. Oh, I told you, don't call me Mom. Sorry, Mrs. Simpson. This isn't the Learn Zone. Darn it, it's a fun place. Yay! Yay! <laughs> What would you do if you got my ear in the mail? Mm -hmm. Feed it to the dog? You'd have to wrap cheese around it. Don't you tell me how to feed you to the dog. <laughs> Welcome to the Mormon Church, America's most respectable cult. Almost. Holy moly. What's the... Absolutely not. My adult frame is simply too large. No, never. Fine. Only wanted to be fun. Shh, shh, shh. Soon you'll know peace. Yay! <laughs> Ralphie? <coughs> Shoes? What's pitiful is if you is ignorant. Is these mice pillows here for the taking? Another stupid kid got out. Until then, why don't we bond by sharing our childbirth experiences? The nurses were so my great. husband. I just came here to pick up my daughter, but now I'm gonna kill you all! <laughs> Don't forget your jacket, sweetie. <laughs> round and round, round and round. Leave your body, Homer. What the hell was that? Hey, neighbor, your welcome man's looking a little dusty. Mind if I come over and sweeten your greeting? Sweeten your greeting. <laughs> I hate to be a nag, but this is my real head. You just experienced W-R-O-L firsthand. Hey, hey! Read the side, pal. No acronyms. End of civilization. Coming soon to an American near you. America can't collapse. We're slaves to the system. Close the supermarket, and we starve. Cut off the tap, we drink our cat's blood. The man who is prepared. I'm the guy you want to know when the stuff hits the fan. Hey, man, no need to almost swear. Homer, meet the Springfield Preppers. A burst of radiation that knocks out every electrical system in the country. I'd slash my wrist. But how? Without my electric knife? I'm very good at keeping secrets. Impending doom. What you reading, Dad? Just enjoy this golden time you will soon cling desperately to the memory of. Smell some bread. Are you eating my grain? Maybe. That was a five pound bag. I guess an open garage isn't the best hiding place. What's up, going crazy again? <laughs> I wish. Water is money, unless gasoline is money. And even though lots of things are razor sharp, no one ever shaves. Wow, your end of the world is better than my during the world. Uh, listen, I've got to know. You're not just being nice to me because in a pinch you could make candles for my fat. What move? We haven't moved. What's going on? Oh, I want to tell you, but I promise to keep it a secret. In here, it's everything we need to survive. Survive what? The looming kablooey. There's no handle on this side. One thing I couldn't prepare for. And that's how you deliver a baby calf with a bathroom plunger. Everyone but us is doomed. I am so jazzed. <laughs> Marge, this is it! Tail twacky! <gasps> the end of the world as we know it? Is that sax alto or baritone? Baritone? This is gonna be a long apocalypse. No one was laughing! You kept it a secret! Well, just because I imagined it doesn't make it any less true. Soon we'll be approached by people who haven't prepared. This rifle scope I modified makes any human face look dangerous and threatening. <laughs> What'd you shoot me for? You were thinking I'd gone mad with power, weren't you? I wasn't, but I am now. Boom, 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 boom. I'm sorry, Bart. I know you've made a bug out camp girlfriend. I've got to be honest with you. It was just a bag of rice I drew a face on. You said you cut the wires to the alarm. Hmm, I cut the wires to something. There are lights following us. How can that be? I took every last can of gas. Out of my way, corn. 
The starving people of Springfield are desperately in need of our delivery of canned corn, corn flakes. I'm proud of you. Society may have crumbled, but our decency hasn't. Huh? Everything's normal. The world didn't end. Well, only Springfield lost power, you see, and, and after a few days it came back. Maybe a little bit brighter, Clivey Clivey. I'm hungry. Look, you can have potato chips now, or if you wait ten minutes, you can have all the brains.